yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Yo, make sure you get in there and make sure you submit them pickums. Right now, get yourself a chance to, uh, at a crack for that bread this week. Yes, sir. NBA stand for never box again. You shouldn't do it. In case you've been living under a rock last night. Y'all know I'm a boxing fan too. Last night, Nate Robinson was slept. I didn't think he was going to get slept. Then let that man, you know, promote his mixtape after sleeping him. Long story short, man, don't play with some of these YouTubers, man. Don't be out here playing with us like that, man. I keep telling y'all, man. Some of, yeah, yeah. I was rooting for Nate, though. I was rooting for Nate, man, because I'm a Nate Robinson fan. I thought Nate Robinson had, had the athletic build. I thought Nate was going to go in there and teach him something. Nate looked like he grew up throwing hands in the suburbs. Nate got washed, got knocked out. It is what it is. Mike and Roy, I, I like. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was a good time. Mike, like he still got the one-two step for for a man that's fifty-four. Mike can still get jiggy, and Roy still, you know, for his flashy stuff, still trying to stay out of the way of you know what I'm, I'm a haymakers. Mike was throwing, man. But let's get into these meat and potatoes, man. So this is what's being said. You already know about Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson shut it down for the uh, rest of the season. And this is what I got to say about Lane Johnson shutting it down for the rest of the season. And the Philadelphia Eagles having, I think, the 10th different offensive line combination already. You know what I'm saying? What's that? 10 different offensive line combinations in, what, 10 games? 11 games? That's horrendous. But what's taking these guys so long to go ahead and get surgery? Why do they think that they could join the Philadelphia Eagles and play around with us like that? Deshaun Jackson played the round for a couple games before he before he decided, well, I'll just go get the surgery. Lane Johnson played the round for a couple games. My my ankle has finally collapsed. Come on, bro. Just like like go get the surgery, man, and fix yourself up. You know what I mean? It's just it don't make no sense, man, for our medical staff and our players to be playing around like that. I get it, man. I'm, some of them dudes old. They don't want surgery. Brandon Brooks ain't playing around with it, man. He go get surgery, then he come back better. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get the ankle surgery, man. We could have been past this, man. Now we got to go out there with, with a 10th different combination at offensive line, and it's just a shame to whoever's under center, man. It's a shame because the offensive line, listen, man, if you want to win a football game really at that level, you got to win it in the trenches. You got to win it in the trenches. You can't go out there expecting to win a football game and have an offensive line that's not cohesive, that's not gelled together, that has not played together for a multitude of time. The Philadelphia Eagles are under the impression, man, that we could go out there and have dudes practice together and it's going to equate to game time chemistry. And it's like I said, man, it's unfortunate for whoever's under center. Now, speaking for whoever's under center, I'm hearing reports that Jalen Hurts has been getting reps with the first team this week. I don't know what that means for the for the game plan against Seattle. I don't know if we're going to try to put him in some more passing situations and some more passing packages like the way New Orleans do um, Taysom Hill. But, you know, the outsider is going to tell us that our quarterback is about to be benched, especially teams like the Cowboys who just got, you know, manhandled on Thanksgiving. Their, the, you, you, you know, their, their joy, their joy is, is not winning for themselves. And, and trying to get to an NFC championship game and trying to be the best team in the conference. They're, that's not their joy anymore. Their joy is to see every other team in the division fail because they got the most rings in the division. They got the most rings in the conference. That's their joy. You know what I mean? That, that's the only thing they could cling on to. They're not a good football team. They haven't been a good football team. You know what I mean? They was, they, they, they was riding high. They was riding high on Thanksgiving. But, you know, now I guess a loss changes everything. You know, um, Jalen Hurts being on the center for the Philadelphia Eagles, taking first team reps, don't surprise me. The 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 franchise is crumbling. The franchise is is in a state of crumble, not crumbling to its not not like we about to be the Browns or nothing like that. But the franchise is going through some changes. They're going through some changes, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, they about to start firing coaches, so these coaches are scrambling. That's the that's the right phrase, man. The franchise is scrambling to find an answer to put some wins together. So they're trying a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Hurts should have never even been drafted with how many needs this team has. So you got to go out there and justify his worth to the team because we putting him in for jet sweeps and a bunch of BS plays just basically ain't cutting it. 
You know what I mean? It's laughable at this point that you wasted a second round pick on this dude just to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I think they're going out there trying to justify it and they're trying to make some things happen. We're trying to, you know, and once again, if you ain't been doing it, you know, if he was getting first team reps, we would have been heard about it. Now you're getting first. Now, now you're going through a whole nother thing where chemistry matters again. The first team got to get used to him now. You see what I'm saying? The first stringers got to get used to him now on the offense. We can just keep shooting ourselves in the foot. He don't need to get first team reps. He don't. Carson Wentz need the reps. He lead the league in interceptions. He's just starting quarterback. He's having a bad year. The answer ain't to take him out of the game. He got to play through that. And the Seattle Seattle defense ain't that good. Won't you focus on getting that man some protection and stop having the most combinations of an offensive line in the National Football League? You know, I, I, I don't know if I'm the only one seeing this. Everybody want to come down on Carson Wentz, but give me another quarterback that played with different variations of an offensive line during the season. Different variations of a running back during the season. Different variations of a wide receiver. <laughs> Like, come on, how unlucky can you be on the offensive side of the ball if you're the Philadelphia Eagles? And I get it, everybody's dealing with injuries. But at the same time, golly, like, let's be for real. Let's be for real here, bro. It's a different it's a different animal that we call injury in Philadelphia, man. The injuries that we get change, change the play calling. Change, you, you can't say next man up if you can't throw a screen pass because your offensive line can't run and protect for a screen that's my only justification as to why we ain't running screen plays when we should be because the offensive line ain't athletic enough to get out there and do it i.e jason peters on the left side and my lotta probably ain't fast enough and then you got lane johnson on the right side who got a bummed ankle most of our screens go to the right if i'm not mistaken so it makes sense for us to not be running screen plays to the right side if you got, you know what I'm saying, Lane Johnson with a bum ankle or a rookie who can't gra grasp the concept right now over there. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the lack of screen plays, I'm hearing I'm hearing this from people. Oh, did you ever realize Carson Wentz can't throw a screen? He had no problem throwing a screen in 2017 or 2016 or 2018. He won a division off screen plays and intermittent throws to um, tight ends. The personnel ain't out there for him to do what he got to do, and that's facts. That's facts, man. That's just the facts. I'm not making excuses for Carson Wentz, but I'm going to tell you the whole truth for nothing but the truth. We don't run the ball enough. We don't call screen plays. We don't protect the quarterback. How can you win? How can you win? You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. It's like, yeah, we got a car, but we got a flat tire. We got a bad transmission. Ain't no gas in the car, but you expect me to drive the car on a 20 on a 200 mile road trip real quick. How can you do it? It's impossible. You need other th other things got to come together to win a football game. It's just not. It's just not about what Carson Wentz. It's just not about Carson Wentz, man. Seriously, man. Everybody want to keep telling me about how some of these other rookie wide receivers are performing as opposed to Jalen uh, Rager performing, but not using the common logic. Rager had surgery on his thumb, missed like four straight games. So why are you giving me his stats and comparing them to Rager's stats when Rager missed games? It's about foot. It's about it's not even about football common sense. It's about common sense. Common sense. If I played two games and he played eight games, he going to have more yards. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get it. I don't get it. You know what I mean? We know why we're in the situation that we're in. If you can't protect the quarterback, he's going to get hit. He's going to get hurt. Seriously. If you can't protect the quarterback, he's going to be top five in sacks. We, we, our guy number one. If you call bad plays and you got a quarterback who tries to play hero ball, it don't mix. You got to put the hero in a position to be a hero. We ain't doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? But... I guess they think the answer is giving Jalen Hurts first team reps. We're going to see how this shake out, man. Hey, enjoy your football Sunday. Make sure you do your pickums. You know what I'm saying? Merch available, all that good stuff, man. I love y'all, man. I love y'all support, man. We're going to talk about it after these, you know, after these uh, four o'clock games. We're going to get into uh, an official video about some Seahawks business because this is a big game for us, man. Brrr.